Okay. All right. Look at you. Look at you. Uh, I guess more like this way. I guess. <clears throat> if you move a notch, here we go. Yeah. I, I think that's better, right? Marshmallow Laser Feast is an experiential art collective based in London. Uh, me and my two artist partners working in the intersection of art, ecology and emerging technologies. Some of the, the, the themes that are very close to our hearts, which we call it works of nature, includes uh, the, the project that we launched in 2018 at Saatchi Gallery called We Live in an Ocean of Air. And the predecessor to that piece was a, a, a piece called Tree Hugger. Um, these pieces are exploring ecologies around uh, giant beings of nature other than humans. Yeah, a sequoia tree, a ceiba pentandra tree, and looking at those ecosystems to understand uh, and, and focus on our ecological understanding of those places, but also creates an, an emotional um, space for people to engage with something so different than themselves. And the, the, the projects often manifest themselves in, in various different forms and di different media. We work with mixed reality, virtual reality, augmented reality, combining artificial intelligence, machine learning and various forms of uh, computation to create works in the fields of stage design to uh, robotics, uh, from mixed reality experiences to screen-based media. And one of the main um, approach for our conceptual phase is often uh, working with scientists. Um, most of the projects, not all of them, but most of the projects are informed by certain scientific knowledge and that allows us to first and foremost learn for ourselves in that process but also extract forms of information and then try to map those to an emotional uh, uh, intervention for the pieces. And that combines in mixed reality experiences where you can look at the photosynthesis, a, a very simple scientific understanding of cellular respiration and, and, and photosynthesis, you know, two acts that defines the, the whole life on Earth. And when you look at it in a molecular sense, it is this miraculous thing. But how do you create an emotional note you know, from the, the, the understanding of that concept. And that's the bit where we work with scientists to understand the, the full working mechanics of it and then uh, try to translate them into uh, multisensory experiences. And when, when I say multisensory, uh, that includes designing different scents to evoke certain sensations, designing uh, the wind and the humidity of the, the, the space that is ever changing and corresponding to the, the visuals that they are seeing. And uh, obviously working with haptics because touch is extremely important and it evokes and it takes you right back to your childhood and in the, 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 the most primal senses. So our journey into combining scientific understanding um, with artistic expression started probably with the In the Eyes of the Animal project that we have created in 2015. We were commissioned to create a, an art piece uh, for Grisdale Forest uh, as part of the Abandoned Normal Devices. And when we went to the, the forest, we realized actually we know so little about the forest. And that led us to you know, exploring. We know this much about this forest and this is how we perceive the forest with our eyes, with our skin, with our nose. But how other species can actually see and identify and relate to these spaces. The, the, the reality is every specimen receives and perceives reality in a completely different set of sensory features and that constructs a different perception of time, a different perception of color, space. So what if we can put you in the eyes of a mosquito? What if we can put you in the eyes of a frog? What if we can put you in the eyes of an owl? Would you appreciate a little more? Can you understand their really interesting worldview a bit better where you can put a headset on and a rumble pack on and obviously it's, it happens in the forest so you're constantly getting the, the smell of the forest and each of those species see the world in a completely different uh, window of light. The, the, the process of um, creating work based on not just how humans perceive but also other species led us to 
kind of question our understanding of you know dominance in nature our connection and interconnectedness with everything which led to the the, the following projects that we created over the years so um, the latest project we launched uh, very very recently called Evolver. It is a multi-sensory mixed reality experience, a collective experience, exploring the human body as a giant nested ecosystem, following a single breath into the lungs and eventually into a single cell. Because the, the, the previous project we did, We Live in an Ocean of Air, is about following your out-breath into a tree and seeing that interconnectedness through the, the visualization of your own breath. And this piece is almost the, 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 the mirror opposite, where we follow an in-breath into human body. And when you scale human body up to, you know, 60 feet, 70 feet, immediately you realize the lungs look like trees. The vascular system, that is, you know, the oxygenated blood constantly flowing looks like ex the, the, the um, river deltas. So Evolver is, is, is this piece that six people embark on a journey, uh, guided by Kate Blanchett's beautiful voice and, and, and combined with music from Johnny Grimwood, uh, Meredith Monk, um, and, and many others like John Hopkins, to create these um, emotional sonic scapes while you're exploring the, the human body uh, as a giant landscape. Yeah, I can, I can send you some bits uh, for that. Yeah. Shall we move? Shall we yeah. do that? Am I just guessing like clips of you sort of like...